Hello everyone, Charmantini back here. Um, I'm uh, making this video to extend on the HPing 3 video that I created. Um, and the last video we talked about what HPing 3 was and uh, how to flood a um, how to flood a specific target. This time around, we're going to start tinkering a bit more with HPing 3. We're going to actually craft certain packets um, now like I said in the last video HPing 3 is really granular so we can actually send just UDP packets with just TCP packets we can um, generate certain amounts of traffic we can randomize the source so spoof the actual address in itself um, and I'll demonstrate to you how to do it and then we're gonna see actually in Wireshark uh, what the packets look like in this scenario we're going to use UDP Okay, so in uh, your terminal, assuming you have uh, HPing3 installed, uh, you should just be doing sudo HPing3. Okay, if you do not have it installed, just go back one video uh, and uh, I showed you how to install HPing3. Okay, so HPing3, uh, and then you're going to name your target. So my target is my local gateway. 192.168.1.1 okay now uh, next is we're going to specify the protocol we're going to use as I said we'll use UDP so just dash dash UDP uh, if you wanted TCP this is where you would do TCP if you wanted ICMP only ICMP uh, there is a list on the HPing3 site of certain commands like a kind of a cookbook type uh, type deal or you can do uh, man space HPing3 to see all the types of uh, protocols we can use so we're going to do dash dash UDP to specify the UDP uh, protocol and we're going to do dash dash RAND dash source Okay. What RAND dash source does is randomize the source addresses uh, from where the UDP packets appear to be coming from. Uh, this is very good for testing uh, access lists, for testing firewalls, um, uh, and also while doing security penetration testing, uh, randomized source we can uh, st we can trick logs or trick. Uh, intrusion prevention intrusion detection systems by having all the uh, uh, different sources of addresses so after we randomize the source um, we're going to specify uh, one more it's dash dash data okay and we'll make that 500 okay so let's read out this entire command what it's doing we're using hping3 our target is 192.168.1.1 using the UDP protocol, randomizing the source addresses, and sending uh, packets with a data byte of 500. You hit enter. Okay. And currently, right now, our so our exit interface is e etho zero. 192.168.1.1 is a target UDP mode and our um, 500 da data bytes packet and a 28 byte header uh, the reason why it's 28 byte header is because we're using the UDP protocol if it was TCP it'd be 40 bytes okay so let's see what's going on within Wireshark let's see what these packets look like Okay. Let me just put a UDP filter. And as you can see, um, first of all, what we notice is random addresses. Okay, we got 245, 160, 144 addresses, 24 dot, um, leaving from this machine, all going to 192.168.1.1. 1 
so we know that uh, it's truly randomizing everything so let's just stop this capture and pick one of the packets here okay so this is our UDP packet um, we can see here that uh, it's our 500 data byte um, uh, body that we're uh, sourcing from and uh, we can see that it's going to our uh, the source address is randomized 226 when it's really coming from my machine which is dot four and going towards 192.168.1.1 1 .1. um, so this is uh, a, a way of uh, sending UDP traffic towards a host uh, an attempt to uh, either flood the host with traffic or with um, with testing firewalls and uh, uh, testing access lists and such the reason why that works is because if you uh, if you want to block certain blocks of, uh, of uh, IPs from reaching a host and this is a good way of of generating that traffic to verify now uh, you can also do a UDP flood as we did with the with the TCP flood so it's the same just dash UDP dash dash flood and now we're flooding this host with you nothing but UDP style traffic okay and let's see how the router responds okay and we've al already lost connectivity to the router uh, by the conventional sense because the pipe is flooded um, one thing, the reason why this attack uh, takes takes place so fast is that I have a one gigabit Ethernet card on this machine, and the router is only a 100 megabit interface. So uh, even uh, even if this was operating at half of the PC's maximum throughput, I'm still sending 500 megabits of traffic towards this router. Uh, one way you can also check is if you had some sort of a bandwidth monitor on uh, on your local machine and that way uh, you can see exactly how much traffic is being sent um, uh, to and from your connection so I hope this uh, I hope this video sheds more light on the power of HPing 3 uh, it's a very useful tool for security professionals and just system ad systems admin if you want to test your, your network's performance. Um, I'll do a quick video on this uh, with a bandwidth monitor and we can see exactly what's going on. If you have any comments, suggestions, uh, or any input about any of my videos, please let me know. Uh, in the comment section below and of course you can always visit my website www.seanmancini.com thank you all for watching have a good day